the boring era of design has come to an end. 2024 is the era of vibrant colors, micro interactions and amazing animations. UI is changing and if you want to make your design stand out, you should copy these design styles. Hey designers, my name is Ankit, I am a self.dx designer and a YouTube content creator. So let's jump right into the video and see these amazing UI design trends of 2024. So without any further ado, let's design. The first one we have is Hero Grids. This one is my personal favorite as well. Hero Grids act like the backbone of a well-organized website, providing a structured framework for content. Each grid square that we have serves as a stage for telling a visual story, making it easier for the visitors to navigate through the website. By maintaining the order while offering a canvas for the creative expressions, Hero Grid contribute to a seamless and engaging user experience. 3D design is an emerging trend and is really effective in engaging the users. 3D interactions make the website more fun by adding a little bit of magic. It's like when things on the screen pop out or move around, making it feel like you can actually touch them. You might have seen websites where 3D elements of the website interact with you when you scroll it. These interactions make the website more interesting and grabs the user's eye. So try out this 3D interaction in your next design project. This message is for all the beginner designers. If you want guidance on how to become a designer or you want to have a one-on-one -on -one session related to design, resume or portfolios, check out this top made link in the description and we'll see you there. The bento grid style is just a little bit different than hero grids. It is an emerging web design style that is getting into trend. Now, it is not a new trend, but it is getting some recognition now. Apple has been using the bento grids layout to showcase the product details for a long, long time now. They have very effectively showcased that on their website. This design style not only makes your design organized, but also make them look modern and sophisticated. Taking a step ahead, you can add interactions or animations in each of the grids and make it more interactive for the users. The huge typeface is another favorite of mine. Using big types and having body fonts and smaller elements with that increases the visual hierarchy of the product and make it easier for the user to focus on one element at a time. This type of design style is mostly used in portfolios. If you have seen design portfolios of people or any design agency, you might find them very common. If you go to awards, you might see a lot of portfolios using the same trend. Boring colors are dead. I don't know when they will come back into the picture but for now, the vibrant neon color designs will take over. These vibrant colors not only make your design pop, but also increases the contrast and it's easier for the user to actually read as well. If you have noticed in these trends, they not only look good or just for the sake of design, but they are actually accessible as well. And accessibility should be the prime goal of a designer, right? Now, dark mode is not a new design style. We have been using it from the past one or two years now. But dark mode has become a necessity now. Many of the products are using dark mode as their primary design style. For example, cred. And not only just dark mode. Now, dark mode is offered with a toggle switch where it is a preference if you want your product to be in a light mode or a dark mode. More on that, Google Map is using dark mode as their automatic switch. If you have paid attention, you might have seen that when it starts to get dark, Google Map interface converts into dark mode itself. Last but not the least, we have the morphism designs. These trends were super active around 2009 and 10. Apple was using this new morphism in their interfaces. At that point of time, 
everything used to look super realistic, even the logos. But as we have moved forward, we started to like the flat designs more. And now we are getting back to the starting point. Hmm. Anyways, all the morphisms, the new morphism, skew morphism and the glass morphism all will come into play. This trend won't be applied to the whole product, but in most of the interactive elements, they will be used very, very effectively. So these are some of the trends that will be coming in 2024 with us. So embrace yourself and practice these designs in your next design project. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite design trend among all of them. And if there is some other trend that you want to highlight, so do let me know in the comments as well. So that is it for today's video. If you really enjoyed it and you learned something new, please like the video. If you are new to the channel, do subscribe and share it with your friends and see you till next time. Thank you.